Sony FX3 has one. Now Sony A7S3 has one. Can we get one for Sony ZV-1? Please. Hello Epic YouTubers, today I'm going to be talking about S-Cinetone on your Sony ZV-1, if that's even possible. S-Cinetone is a color science that's in Sony FX9, which was inspired by the Venice camera. It provides rich cinematic film look straight out of camera without any additional color grading. So you can say it's like the Sony version of Fuji Film's Eterna film simulation. Unfortunately, this S Cinetone is only available was only available on high-end Sony cameras, but thanks to a YouTuber named Extra Shot, he made a custom profile that emulates this S Cinetone for Sony A7 III and Sony A7 S3 uh, before the S S3 actually got the firmware update to get the S Cinetone. And it looks pretty good. You guys should check it out. I'll link his video somewhere. You guys should definitely watch it because it tells you what he did to get this look. And I think it's important to know what he did if you're actually gonna be using it. When I saw that result, it looked really good. And I was thinking, can I use it on my Sony ZV-1? I don't know if you noticed, but right now I am using Extra Shots as Cinetone picture profile on my Sony ZV-1. Um, he has two versions, one for the A7 III and one for S3, but I'm using the S3 because I believe that uh, the ZV-1 came out way later after getting some color improvement closer to the S3. So because of that, I'm using the S3 uh, version of his Cinetone. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I just want to go over some settings and a little bit of a tweak that I did because of the ZV-1's limitation compared to the other two cameras. So let's check out the settings. So first of all, go to first tab, page 9. Go to picture profile. You can pick any other picture profile. It does not matter which one you put it into. So I picked picture profile 9. First of all, black level is negative 10. Gamma, I picked Cine 2. Black gamma, I put range to wide and level negative one. Knee, I set to manual and then put the point to 100%, slope to zero. Color mode, pro, saturation, negative one. Color phase, negative one. Color depth, this is the important one. Red is plus one, green is plus two. Blue is zero, cyan is plus one. Magenta is plus one yellow is plus one and for detail i left to zero and that is it okay so those are the settings i did make a little bit of a change because of sony zv1's limitations for instance sony zv1 does not have the cine 4 gamma so i went with cine 2 and the main difference between those two is cine 4 has more contrast versus the Cine 2. So unfortunately, in order to emulate this S Cine tone colors, you have to add a little bit of a contrast in post, but that's about it. And also I left the sharpness to zero, not negative seven, because I believe that compared to, you know, other S3 and A7 III, I think Sony ZV-1 is already less sharp i don't want to say not sharp but less sharper compared to those two cameras so i just left the zero i think it's personal preference if you want to add more sharpness in post or just have it straight out of camera and i personally think this profile is pretty damn good and i give full props to extra shot for going through all the tests and time to get this thing for us you know i think besides nailing the white balance i think it's great if you can get it right and seems pretty good what do you guys think let me know so that's it for me today hopefully my video was helpful if you guys like this video please hit that like button and then if you guys want to see more camera related video in the future please subscribe and bell notification blah 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 and please comment down below if you know any better way of simulating this s cinetone look on your sony zv1 that will be very helpful. And also, if you have any other question, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer as much as I can. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.
Peace.